Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Have you ever looked around and had to do a double take? Like, did I just see what I think I saw? Those moments can be a bit scary, but thrilling at the same time. That's why today we're bringing you another 10 Stop Your Heart moments with pictures that are full of crazy and frightful backstories that you never would have imagined. From family photos to pictures taken just before tragedy and many more, You'll be shocked to hear about why, when, and how these pictures were taken. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and in the comments section, tell us of some other pictures that have creepy backstories. Number 10. Castle Figure this picture, at first glance, is a couple of kids posing in front of some antique structure, probably the grounds of a castle of sorts. The kids look happy enough, considering they're just visiting some old thing with their parents, but the story goes much deeper. In the back of this photo, you can see a type of female-looking figure creeping out of the structure behind them. While at first, they figured it might be another tourist walking the area, Everyone agreed that no one else had been around when the picture was taken. The castle housed Henry VIII and was used for hundreds of beheadings. So you can bet it's probably pretty haunted. Number 9. Man in the Woods This photo is the last known image of this man who ventured into the woods of Alaska to camp. Apparently, though he looks like quite the Boy Scout, it didn't end up so well for him because he didn't tell anyone where he was going and eventually starved to death. The camper who found him later said he looked extremely thin and had a wild look on his face. The image went viral and was sadly an example of how prone we are to die in the wild, no matter how experienced we are or how many seasons of Survivor I've watched. Number 8. Joyful Man or Creepy Killer this happy-go-lucky young man seems like he's in the prime of his life. Life is all hakuna matata and no responsibilities at this age, isn't it? Well, maybe not for this guy, because this picture was taken while he was in the back of a squad car. Why did he get arrested? Oh, that's the really creepy part, because he didn't drink and drive. He didn't do anything teenagers often get arrested for. He murdered his parents. During the attack, he used both a hatchet and a sledgehammer to kill his mom and dad and severely hurt three of his siblings. Does the smile still remind you of the Lion King? I'll answer that for you. No, no it does not. Number 7. Jonestown Suicide This image is hardly innocent at first glance. If someone showed you this, you might think that it was taken during war, perhaps after a bombing or a mass shooting, or a fatal attack during a battle between two regions. The reality is much different. This is an American religious organization located in Guyana. They lived in a place they called Jonestown after their leader, Jim Jones. Jonestown was pretty much unknown until 1978 when close to 1,000 people died in one day. Of the 909, 907 died from cyanide poisoning. Though they've called it a revolutionary suicide, it's said that many of the deaths were the result of forced cyanide injections. Some of the victims were minors, and it added up to the largest incident of American civilian death until 9-11. Number 6. Omira Sanchez The case of Omira Sanchez is well known in Colombia. This image comes from the video footage taken by several news networks in Colombia who talked and waited with her during the last days of her life. The young girl was caught in the debris of her house after a volcano eruption had led to a fatal mudslide that tore down her house and left her trapped in water and concrete. During the interview, she says that her grandmother was caught in the debris and the body is lying in the water underneath her. She stays shockingly calm, knowing all the while that she will die. Number 5. Suicide from Genesee Hotel in 1942 
This photo was taken by a photographer for the Buffalo Courier Express. First, it looks like a coffee shop, a normal street corner, and a strange statue of a woman on the building. When you look again, you can see that the woman is actually falling toward the sidewalk. A figure is seen entering the hotel, which some sources say is a police officer attempting to save the woman from jumping. She had jumped from the eighth floor window. The young woman was named Mary Miller and had checked into this hotel with the specific purpose of killing herself after telling her sister that she was traveling to see other relatives. The reporter who took the photo had followed police cars that sped past him and managed to catch a few shots of the woman hesitating as well as this shocking image. Number 4. Children with Gas Masks This photo looks something like you'd find in an attic. It pictures several children walking together and looks entirely normal, except for the fact that they're all wearing gas masks. It was taken in Liverpool, England in the early 1940s. It would probably have been very normal for the children to have and wear masks without obvious proof of discomfort because every UK citizen was issued one. This was after the persistent German Air Force bomb attacked the region during World War II. The fear of a gas attack led many to wear their masks often, schools to run drills, and thus this photo comes about. The kids are in school learning how to put it on and what to do in case of an emergency. At my school, we just played with blocks and occasionally had non-war related fire drills, so I will count myself lucky. Number 3. Death by Sword Assassination Our next photo was taken in Tokyo in 1960. The picture is of an impact during the assassination of Enehiro Asunoma, who was then leading the Socialist Party in the country. The attacker is Otoya Yamaguchi. The attack looks pretty simple in the picture, but what we don't see is that Yamaguchi is sword deep in Asunoma's stomach. Only the Japanese will epically assassinate someone in public, on camera, with a sword. After the murder, Yamaguchi wrote on a mirror in his detention center, Seven lives for my country, long live his imperial majesty, the emperor, and hung himself. Number 2. The Last Picture of Mother and Son Pictures on planes are always a little scary. For some reason, maybe I've seen too many Final Destination movies, I always think that you're just foreshadowing something sinister. Lots of airport tragedies have stories like this. For instance, the Brazilian Chapecoense soccer team almost all died when flying to a match in Colombia. The photos and videos of the players boarding the plane are shockingly sinister. It's similar here, where we see a mother and son together on a plane, excited to see whatever destination they're off to, in this case, Kuala Lumpur. However, the flight was shot down by a Russian missile while flying over Ukraine. Everyone on board died. Number 1. The Amityville Photo This family photo looks like a normal 70s portrait. Everyone looks happy and together. It's full of family comfort and can even evoke some nostalgia. The photo was taken in 1976 on 112 Ocean Avenue, Amityville. That's right, this is the Amityville house. The family consisted of John, Allison, and Mark in the back row of the photo, and Don and Ronald Butch Jr. The parents aren't in the photo, but Butch is the only survivor. Every member of the family was shot in their bed, to no surprise, by Butch. Suddenly, the photo of the family doesn't look so happy. Thanks for watching. What would be your spin on these photos if you're seeing them for the first time? Let us know in the comments section below. Remember to subscribe, click the bell, then enjoy these two additional videos.